So I was playing around with my striker attachments here in Modern Warfare 3, and let's just say I built something that's pretty similar to my last builds, but also extremely different. What I have is a super, super low recoil setup for you guys that's very good at damage range, while it kind of lacks in the close range categories, which it's an SMG and you may be thinking, well, why would you do that? Here's the thing with this weapon. It's going to thrive as like a medium range, kind of slower paced SMG. It's not like the WSP Swarm, the Rival 9, the HOR RM9, where you're gonna be up close and personal with people all the time. It's very good at picking people off of head glitches and kind of being that medium support between assault rifle and SMG. So let's get into these attachments. Like I said, pretty similar, but also different. So we're starting off our build here with an automatic change and I am running an optic this time. I found myself being much more accurate while running some kind of reflex sight, whether that be the slate reflector, the NIDAR model, or the MK3 reflector. I found that I just hit a lot more of my shots, especially those headshots. For the stock, this is an attachment that didn't change is the Lockman Recon Series stock. We get gun kick control, aiming idle sway, and recoil control. This is one of those attachments that kind of takes away from the aggression, but it's not really all big of a deal. Like I explained, it's kind of that median, medium weapon between assault rifle and SMG. So you get 25% of the gun kick control and 5% of the vertical and horizontal recoil control. That's gonna help you significantly with your farther range fights. Now for a magazine, I have the 48 round mag, not a 100% necessary one. You can take this one off if you want to, but personally, I like to have those extra bullets just in case I get into a situation where there's a bunch of enemies in front of me and I really don't have the opportunity to reload. But like I said, it's a preference here. Now I am going with an ammunition type here and I'm going with the high grain round simply to gain some bullet velocity and damage range while not sacrificing more mobility. So if you were to go with a barrel, yes, you'd get bullet velocity and damage range, but we're gonna sacrifice even more movement. At that point, you're basically just a stick in the mud. You're, you're a slug on the map. I didn't want to sacrifice any mobility, but I still gained 15% here to my bullet velocity, 15% to the minimum damage range, and 14% to the effective damage range. And the final attachment is the Zem 35 Compensated Flash Hider. I've talked about this attachment a lot. It's honestly might just be the best attachment in the game at this point. It controls your shake on the weapon or your visual recoil control along with give you recoil control itself. So we get 5% to the horizontal and 15% to the vertical with a small sacrifice of 5% to the aim down sight speed. As always, there's all of your attachments on the screen if you guys wanted to copy those down. It's a definitely a different kind of build. It, my other builds, I definitely focused more on aggression, but I think I kind of hit this one on the head. I think it this is my best build for the weapon so far. Here's also the rest of that loadout. If you guys wanted to copy it down, all my perks, whatever, field upgrade, lethal, tactical, all that stuff, make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button. As always, we're gonna get into a couple of gameplays featuring it, not only in the close range, but also with some longer range fights mixed in there to best feature this setup. Let's get into that. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna be honest. I think this is a pretty W update. We got some banger maps. And not only did we get banger maps, we got banger weapons. I'm not using one of those weapons, but besides the point, oh, we love some AFKers. Wait, sure. we love those AFKers. All right, hold on, hold on. I knew this was gonna happen playing meat. I knew this was gonna happen. I felt it appropriate to play meat because obviously we're using an SMG. I'm not a big fan of Stash House. I've said that before. Not a huge fan of Stash House. I'm not really talking here. I don't really have much to talk about. You owe me one. Friendly EMP down. All right, hold the phone. Hold the phone. He had a shotgun, too. I'm good. There's one guy looking for me. Yep, there he is. Wait. Yeah, I'm on a 25, and this doesn't feel like I should be on a 25. I'm gonna hit a dash here quick. 
I don't think I've ever had a start like this on me. Damn. As I was just about to say, I haven't really had a start like this on me. It's hard for me to talk on these small maps. I'm definitely going to do like, not what you would call a big map. I'm going to do a normal map. For my second game, so I can actually talk. Get your head in the game, Kate. Yeah, this dude, this striker feels nuts. They didn't buff this or anything, but it just feels so good for some reason. I don't know if it's like my connection. I was playing around with attachments yesterday. I put these on and I'm like, wait, this thing kind of feels good. Feels like my bullets are ragging really good. I don't know if it's because I took off the barrel and decided to go with the high grain rounds. I feel like the high green rounds might have made a huge difference in the sense of movement while still increasing my damage range as a whole. I'm on a 43 gun streaker now, but they're running this stupid gas. Can't run at it. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself today. We're one day after the update's been out. Oh my god, I am on a 50 gun streak. I have a 50 KD right now, I think. Have I died? I don't think I've died yet. I've only gotten one set of streaks, so it's got to be the case. And I'm dead again. That's what happens when you die on these small maps, dude. Swear to God. We're going to hit a flank here. I think they would have spawned here. There's one. Good, t good shots, teammate. I want to get up here and I want to put this down right here. Good kill. With this small map mosh pit out, there's probably gonna be more small maps than usual. I think there's probably gonna be some more rush shipment, stuff like that, more than you would normally see from me. Just because it's gonna be more readily available, basically. My sentry guns doing work. Me putting on the sentry gun. has actually been a huge move on these small maps because it blocks spawns. And if they do spawn there, my sentry gun just kind of takes it out. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I am dead, but I actually picked that up from Jev. Jev uh, said, oh yeah, I've been running sentry gun. It blocks the spawn, whatever. And I tried it out for myself. I'm like, wait, he's onto something. 
Hit, hit me with a slide cancel there. That was a pretty fast game number one. It is meat after all. Probably going to be a lot of editing. 88 kills. Let's jump over to a normal map so I can actually uh, talk a little more. So with the combination of the game being like on sale or 50% off or whatever the heck it is. And the free to play weekend right now. Or free to, is it not really a weekend? A free to play week, I guess, is what you would call it. There's a huge influx of lower level players that are absolutely cracked. I just played against like a level 10. And I tell you, this man was one of the best players I've ever played against. And it just threw me off guard. You know what I mean? You see level 10s and you're thinking to yourself, oh my God, this is going to be a fun game. Not the case. Not the case with that gentleman. That man had my number. If you guys ever want to see a video of me getting crapped on, you let me know. I'd be down. Like if you guys actually want to see like, People on stream have seen me get crapped on. You know what I mean? I haven't streamed in a little bit here, but people on stream have seen me get absolutely torched. I can have bad games. I have lobbies where it just doesn't, doesn't work, right? If you guys ever want to witness one of those where I upload it as like a second gameplay or something, you guys let me know. Oh, I think I was one kill off my advanced UAV there. I was, I was at all 11. That's tough. It's gonna be, I'm just here for the fun. You know what I mean? Mercado, I haven't played. Since MW2, I had the Modern Warfare 2 mosh pit when it was out, but I never ended up getting maps that I wanted to play. I was always getting like Shoot House, which I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a huge Shoot House fan. It's all right. It's definitely an all right map. It's a small map, but I think I'd rather play Mercado, Hotel, stuff like that. Man, I tell you what, I've been getting punched a lot. Apparently they nerfed it too. Apparently they nerfed the punching. I don't know how much I believe that. What was your guys' favorite MW2 map? Personally, it was Breenberg Hotel for me. Breenberg Hotel and Fortress were my playgrounds. You guys know that if you watched my channel last year. I was a menace. So here's what I'm hoping for out of this game. I do want to get a swarm. I want to see how a swarm would perform on this map, you know? Trophy system online. All right, I need three kills for an advanced here. I'm gonna have, yeah, they're definitely coming back door here. I'm gonna dash out of here. I want the advanced and I want the swarm, so I'm gonna just make sure I get that quickly. No reason to push into gunfights. I'm gonna lose. Teammate just died there. There's one. I stick him. All right, there's the advanced. Let's hit that now. Make sure we lock this in. Uh, I'm not gonna go middle because that's a sniper's paradise, but we are gonna hit the back lane here. I do have a grenade. Oh. EMP is locked. There's our swarm. Somebody's running a smoke and it's actually a good play. This is why pros banned it in competitive because let's be honest, it's just a crap shoot from there. Yeah, let's hit it. Let's see what the swarm can do here. Oh, buddy. Oh, we had an F-Tac siege. I thought it was a swarm. I was about to say, you can't lose that. That attack siege is awful, by the way. What is my swarm doing? Uh, apparently swarms don't work on this map. Okay. I'm assuming that's what that means. Cause uh, I can't, I mean, it's kind of working. It kind of doesn't really make sense. Oh, is that a guy? No, it's not a guy. I thought this right here was a guy. I'm good with that riot shielder. Lit up. The so 
I've got no bullets right now and a sniper. Actually, I have an MGB, apparently. I'm going to be honest, MGB was not an intention. I just wanted to swarm, and the swarm is goofy looking. It didn't really do much, I'm going to be honest, but you got a close up view of what the hell those things look like. I can't see a damn thing. I have a ton of time here. I'm shooting at teammates now. This smoke is kind of nuts. I have two minutes on the clock or the time, so I could actually get a ton of kills here. I'm going to go out and assume they're going to be over here. I don't hear anybody. Oh. Over at sneakers. Got a chance here to double swarm. I right, get behind them. This is two free picks. All right, that's two. Got a guy here. Swarm. I just want to hit my freaking streak, bro. Guys are relentless. Spawn on me. Oh my goodness. That was insane. That was a guy. What is happening? I think I'm one kill off a double nuke here. That was a yes. I was one kill off a double nuke. One kill for a hundred. And we got a hundred. Switching mags. Good kill. I, I think uh, I think that's a pretty so. Uh, I was gonna say I think that's pretty sufficient. I kind of want three more kills, just to get a round number. But if I don't, I could I could show calling this nuke in. So I don't know if I want to do that. One. Get one behind me. I gotta call it in. This map with the Modern Warfare 3 color palette looks gorgeous. It's actually gorgeous. Oh, I locked the 110. I think that's what that was. 110. Actually, you might have given me a couple more. 112. I wanna get I wanna get hotel. I think it'd be super fun. The AR.